welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, I would love if you stuck around. So today, like the title says, I am showing five of my top favorite fall crock pot recipes. I feel like anything you make in the crock pot is fall and or winter because when else do you bring out the crock pot, you know? So I picked five and honestly, I could have picked 20. There were so many to choose from. I love, love using my crock pot. Like I'm obsessed. I have it out every single weekend, sometimes during the week. It's like an issue. So today's also exciting because I paired up with one of my best girlfriends, Georgina. She is also doing five crock pot recipes. So you get 10 recipes in one day. Click um, on her link down below and you can subscribe to her, watch her video, get all of the good ideas. Um, over here, you'll get lots of good ideas too, as well as lots of cameos from the little, from the little prince. He's like, mom, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Check out these recipes. Let me know which ones you love. And yeah, let's get into cooking. If I could go back and make things right. Okay, so I love this fall recipe. I'm sure everybody has their own chili recipe. Um, this is kind of how I make mine. Honestly, I don't follow a recipe. I just kind of do what I feel like. It probably turns out a little different every time. Um, but yeah, this is how I'm going to make it today. I'm using a yellow onion. I probably only use about half of this because this is so big. Um, a green bell pepper. I wish they would have given me a bigger one, but what can you do? Some tomato paste, diced tomatoes, black beans, and kidney beans. These are the dark ones, but you can use whatever. Chili beans. This probably has points. Everything else will be zero, but this probably has points. Um, I will put on the screen what the points are and then put everything that you need to know as far as serving size and things in the description box down below. Um, more diced tomatoes, some 99% fat free turkey breast, so this is zero, and then some mild chili seasoning. I'll probably also use extra chili powder, cumin, that kind of stuff, um, garlic powder um, on the meat and stuff, but this all pour in with everything else. Um, and yeah, it should be pretty freaking delicious. So this is all a crock pot meal. You can make it on the stove if you want. The only thing you need to do that's not the crock pot is cook up your turkey. So for the chili, you're just going to start by cooking up your ground turkey. I added chili powder, some cumin, salt, and pepper to mine. You can add whatever you like. I'm going to save that chili packet um, for once everything is thrown together. I like to add that at the end. I think I actually added garlic um, powder and paprika to this as well, and then also some fresh minced garlic. Well, not fresh, from the jar. <laughs> Next, you just want to dice up your veggies. You can use um, whatever type of bell pepper you want. You can leave it out, obviously, totally up to you. Um, I just used one green bell pepper and about half of a yellow onion. And then I chose to cook mine up in the skillet after my turkey was done. That, again, completely optional. It's just an extra step. You can omit it if you want to. Um, but I wanted to get it a little more tender um, and kind of cook it up in the pan with those extra seasonings. Once you dump everything in together, give it a big stir, put the lid on it, let it go on low, and let it simmer away. Honestly, you could do two hours, four hours, totally up to you, just as long as it gets heated through. The longer um, that it cooks, the more flavor is going to come out. This is perfect for leftovers, and there are so many ways that you can eat this. Okay, y'all, so it's been about two and a half hours on high. The chili is looking amazing. It's bubbling away. Um, definitely give it a taste. See if you need to add anything, salt or anything like that. Um, you can serve this with a baked potato, which I'm going to do. You can serve it in a bowl. You can do Frito pie. You can do it over hot dogs. You can do over cornbread. So many options. This is freaking delicious. I love turkey chili. Let me know if you have any secret ingredients to your chili. I would love to know. And yeah, I hope you guys try this recipe. No, Next, we're going to be making lazy lasagna. You're going to need some spinach, some sort of mozzarella cheese, your favorite sauce. Zero point marinara would be perfect for this, but I just picked up the lowest calorie one at my grocery store. 
some lean ground turkey, and a package of frozen ravioli. I chose the cheese ravioli. Um, and you can see if you want to do something comparable, this is the calories. So for this recipe, you want to start by cooking up your ground turkey. I saw, or I um, added salt, pepper, garlic powder. You could even add Italian seasoning. Um, you could cook this up with an onion if you'd like, add some extra garlic, totally up to you. Just cook it like you would any other um, meat that you were gonna put into a pasta sauce. I added a little bit of sauce before I sprayed it down with Pam. Uh, but you want to start with sauce on the bottom, and then you're just going to layer this like you would any other lasagna. You will notice we're not using any ricotta cheese, but that is what the ravioli is for because it is filled with that cheese, um, I don't know, filling or whatever. So you don't even have to worry about spreading out ricotta or anything. This is so, so stinking simple. And if you use a zero-point marinara, you can add as much or as little sauce as you like. Um, you can make it more of like a pasta dish with extra sauce, or if you like it um, to be exactly like a lasagna, you can add a little less sauce. So you will want to cook this on low for three to four hours. Then I topped it with cheese at the end, put the lid back on, waited for it to melt. And you guys, this is such a winner. I cannot wait to make this again. It was absolutely delicious. It's way too easy to say stuff I never do You know it's not how I feel, baby So can we let this life Can't stop to see you cry So to start off the burrito bowls, you're just going to be making plain old salsa chicken. I feel like everyone knows how to make this, but I like to start with a little salsa in the bottom of the crock pot, add the chicken breast. I was just trimming a piece of fat over there. I like to add ranch powder as well as taco seasoning. That's completely optional, but I really think that it kicked up the flavor of these burrito bowls a lot. And I like the on the border salsa for this as well. Um, next, after, you can do low for like four hours or high for about two, which is what I did. Um, you want to just shred up your chicken breast. I had three, which turned out being perfect. It made um, about five lunches. I ate this all week. It was awesome. So while I was shredding up the chicken, I also was cooking up some riced cauliflower in the microwave, and we are about to mix that in all together. So I also drained and rinsed some black beans, dumped those in there, and then you see me put one um, cauliflower thing in there. I just salt, pepper, and then I added a little fajita seasoning. Once I mixed it up, I decided I wanted more cauliflower, so I did add a second bag. That is totally optional, um, whatever sort of consistency you want. I really wanted to stretch it out for lunches throughout the week. You'll see me eating a lot of it because it was so good. Um, but yeah, you can add one or two bags of the cauliflower rice. We got this. For the fajita soup, I'm starting with just making some chicken broth. You could buy like the pre-made in the can. That's totally fine. But I have these little bouillon cubes that I like to use. Um, and you're going to use two cups of the chicken broth. So I'm using pre-made uh, fajita chicken strips. And you can see I'm just dicing them up. I get mine at HEB, but you could probably find them at Walmart. They're in the refrigerated section. Um, in like where the rest of the raw meat would be. So it just comes in a bag. I used two bags total. They were um, six ounces each. Then I dumped in some diced tomatoes. You could use a can of Rotel. I wanted to keep mine really mild though. Then I drained and rinsed pinto beans and black beans, threw those in, and I had a little um, frozen onion, so I decided to throw that in. You can absolutely do bell peppers. Um, I forgot them, actually, but it turned out great, and I don't think I would add peppers next time. I add a little bit of ranch seasoning and fajita seasoning, then cook it on low for about four hours, and you are good to go. This stuff is delicious. Morgan agreed. He was obsessed with it.
So last, but certainly not least, is the Italian beef. We always, um, in my family, use this for sandwiches. My parents have made this probably my whole life. It is so freaking delicious. Definitely my favorite crockpot recipe ever. I don't know that it's super you know, low in calories because we're using that roast. Um, but there's no butter or added oils or anything like that. You're just gonna add some seasoning packets, cook it low and slow, and you are good to go. So the seasoning we're gonna add is just a packet of the Zesty Italian and one packet of the French onion soup mix. It is so simple. I also added some black pepper. Um, add whatever you want, get creative with it, but it is so, so good. Cook it on low for six to eight hours. It will literally fall apart. So wait until it starts to fall apart when you poke it with a fork. That is when you know that it's done. I was just about to say, I know you will. Okay, y'all, that is the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Georgina's channel. I will put her face right here. Just click on it. It'll take you straight there. Subscribe, watch her video, <laughs> and um, leave her some love. Tell her I sent you. I would absolutely love that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Comment if you'd like to chat with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like recipe videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.